All right, guys. I'll teach you how to how to set up a Steam key trading bot today. So this is what we're gonna do as our first step. You are going to need three things: the SteamBot.zip, which I will give to you. You can check it for viruses if you want to. I might even um, put up put up a virus or you know those uh, virus scanner links for the file. But that's a low chance that I will actually put it up because I'm a bit lazy right now. <laughs> So let's begin. Well, the other thing, sorry, is Microsoft uh, um, something. I'll, I'll put it up in as a link. But yeah, all right. So what you can do is once you download the Microsoft thing, you're gonna go to your Windows thing. It's different for Windows 8, but you're gonna find the file. I mean, Windows 8 and Windows 7 are so different. Remember, this this Steam bot is for Windows 7. Windows 8 does not matter what you have. So you're gonna find your um. Your v VS Express 2013 for desktop. That I f it's going to be different again from Windows 7, like how I said. You're going to log in, and you're going to get this thing, so you can exit out of that. Make sure you log in with your Win with your uh, Microsoft account. Next is once you get the SteamBot.zip, you're going to extract it to the desktop, and you will get this file, SteamBot.zip. First, what we're going to do is we're going to go open up this settings at the or actually no, my bad, bin then debug, then settings.json you're going to right click on settings.json and you're going to open with and keep using notepad so this is what you're going to do, this is your um, your name ah oh, shit, you know what, let me just do this all over again, my bad <laughs> um, we're going to go back to your steambot.zip, open it up just pretend this is on the desktop, alright? I already messed up right now, so, yeah. Don't worry, you won't mess up. Um, bin, then debug. Then you're going to get settings.json right there, alright? You're going to open it using Notepad. It, it already opened it using Notepad now. See this link in here for API key? You know, we're going to get admin done. Your Steam ID 64 code, I, I'm sure you know how to do it, how to find it, but I'll just find it for you right now. I know my name's very funny. My cock is very okay. Yeah, um, you're gonna go to your Steam Outpost or whatever you have, then your Steam Rep, and uh, it's gonna give you your Steam ID 64 right here. This number right here. You're gonna copy that, and you are going to paste it. I'm gonna look at that trade in a second. You're gonna copy it and paste it right there. Remember to leave the parentheses and everything else that is there. Next, you're gonna get your API key. You're gonna copy this link. The Steam community blah dot blah, blah blah control copy put it go open up your web browser i personally like using firefox you don't have to use firefox that's just me um yeah and it, steam community it already gave me mine because you just have to enter in a random website i entered in google it's going to give you this long key right there you're going to copy that all right um you're going to copy that and what you're going to do is you are going to erase this thing right here leave the comma and in the API key you're going to paste it in there whatever you got you know that's not my key though but yeah I'm not gonna save the file right now but yeah that that's what you do um, you're gonna put in your username and password obviously I'm not gonna put it in and put this video up on YouTube and show you guys I'll, I'll do that after this is your display name, your name that you're going to have. I just put selling for, you know, uh-oh, selling for, you know, like 7.66, buying for, you know, whatever. That's just, you're going to be your thing. You're going to have your name prefix. I have my name prefix as keybot. That's just what's going to come. Be it's kind of like a clan tag, kind of. That's what's going to come before your name. And, of course, your chat response, which is going to be what your bot is going to respond to when someone says, how much are keys, your bot's going to say, or it's when they're going to say, I don't know, for example, I hate you, your bot's going to say, I'm I'm sorry, I am buying keys for 7.44, blah, 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 that's what you, anything you're going to want, or you're like, happy trading with me, or blah, blah, blah. Do I want to save them? I'm not going to save that. Um, <clears throat> then you're going to open up your steambot.sln, it's 15 kilobytes, gigabytes, um, open with, and you're going to want to open with, um, Express 2013 for desktop, alright, 
<clears throat> now this is because I because I already used this. I'm sorry. Why that? I don't know. I have no idea why that was highlighted. Uh, it's a bit different from when I used to use this. And you're gonna go to the right, and you're gonna open up keyuserhander.cs. Just you don't have to double click it. Just just click on it. That's all. And this is the price that you're. It's obviously it's gonna be different because I already edited this. But anyways, uh, this is gonna be the price that your bot is gonna buy keys for. So I just edit this number to keep me as a record, like just as a record, you know, for um, in case I mess up. So seventy. This is your sell price. How much your bot is gonna sell keys for? It's gonna sell keys for seventy scrap, which is seven point six six refined. It's going to buy keys for. 68 ref 68 scrap my bad 70 scrap it's gonna buy trees for 68 scrap which is 7.44 refined and this thing right here is very important to change it does not automatically change it for you that's for how much when someone says i want to buy keys your bot will say i am selling keys for and then it'll list that price right there and your buy price you know you want it the same as above or, or it'll throw the the person who's buying off will throw them off Next, you're going to want to change, go down here a little. It says, I'm currently buying keys for blah, blah, blah. That's when someone says, how much are you buying for? Your bot will say, I'm currently buying keys for, you know, etc. Yeah. And last thing, uh, you're going to want to change your owner's profile. And by the way, you can't you can't do this on a free-to-play account because your bot, when it when someone adds it, it can't trade them. The person will have to trade them. So it's good to do it on a premium account so the bot will automatically trade them. So that's why I do not, do not recommend doing it on a free-to-play account. Do it on a premium account like your own account. No, your account will not get stolen. So that's just where your main account goes, your ID. You don't have to put that in. You can leave it as Zendrix. because that's just the person who I got this from. He got banned, obviously. <laughs> well, not obviously. He got banned because he was scamming people. I know a Steam bot does not get you banned. I looked it up in the TOS T Terms of Service. And it says nothing about buying bots. I've been using this for over a year and nothing happened. Now, how, how you're probably wondering, how do I start this bot? You're going to go to debug, then start debugging. All right, I'm going to be back because I'm going to get this error that says uh, with yellow. Because I haven't put in my username and password. And I don't want to do that in front of everyone. So, yes, I'm going to help you out in a second, guys. So, I'll be back in a second. All right, see you guys. Alright guys, I am back. I just put in my uh, username and password, so this is a very important step. I you will not be able to get it working. I've seen many people have these um, problems, but I will teach you how to fix it. So here we go. You're going to get this thing, and it's going to say it has Steam Guard. So this is what happens. Steam Guard is a protection account from getting stolen, and this is what I will do. Uh, you're going to go into your email and look for the code that you got. I'm just going to go into my Gmail. I don't care if you see the code. Oh. Oh no, you guys don't know my password, so that's fine. <laughs> um, now, from a new computer, blah, 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 you can check it to verify if it's yours, you know, if it's not getting stolen for your, you know, etc. So I'm going to copy the code, and this is the important step. How do I get the code in there? Well, what you got to type is A-U-T-H, then space, zero, then the equals, oh crap then the equal sign oh okay then the equal sign and then your code uh oh all right let me just put my code right there cuz then you're going to type in your code and my code is um k y p and then 2 and then k so enter and then there you go. These people all added me, sent them a welcome message, and then boom, your Steam bot is up. So thanks for watching my video. Comment, rate, subscribe, anything you have. I will be helpful and I will be, um, oh, no. Just continue. If you get that error, oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Alright, what did I just get? <laughs> We're gonna fix this. Alright, we're going to debug this again. If you got this, I don't know what's wrong with that. Um, okay, no, that's fine. I don't know what happened there. If you get that, just exit out. and. Okay. Um, 
just break. Just press break and it's fine. My bad. I should not press continue. Just press break. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I will be coming out with more videos like this. So, yeah. I'm the first video to come out on YouTube that has a how to set up a Steam bot. So, yeah. Alright, guys. Well, uh, I'll surely make another video if you need me to do anything. So, yeah. Peace out, guys.